Hello everyone. Now, we will talk about Panofsky and Breyer method. Okay, so Panofsky and Breyer method is uh, used in obtaining the wind speed having a certain barometric pressure. Okay, so we all know that uh, with the changes in atmospheric pressure, the lower the atmospheric pressure, the higher the wind speed. Now, with that, having uh, the observed barometric pressure, we have to obtain the velocity in meter per second. So using the formula in uh, obtaining the velocity or the wind velocity in meter per second, we have 3.9 plus 3.5 is square root of 1016 minus the observed barometric pressure. Keep in mind, the conversion factor of meter per second to knots, one meter per second is equals to 1.9 knots. Okay, so let's test the formula. Having the example of uh, approximate wind velocity. Okay, we will find the approximate wind velocity in knots with the given of central pressure of 10, 10 millibars or 1,010 millibars. Now, let's use the formula. Velocity in meter per second equals 3.9 plus 3.5 square root of 1016 minus 1010. So, entering this in the calculator, we can have the answer of 12.47. 12.47 rounded off to the nearest tenths or one decimal point, you can have the 12.5. But this is in meter per second. So convert it into knots. How? So 12.5 times 1.9, it will be 23.75 knots. But that is not your final answer. Your final answer should be Rounded off to the nearest tens, final answer will be 23.8 knots. That will be your approximate wind velocity with the 1010 millibars. What about if the given is the wind velocity and we will find the pressure? So we have the formula for that. Pressure equals 1016 minus the quantity speed in meter per second minus 3.9 all over 3.5 raised to the power of 2 using the same uh, conversion factor of meter per second to knots. So let's enter by the given. What is the central pressure area if the wind velocity is 35 knots? So remember, this is knots. So before we can use the formula, we have to convert it to meter per second. So how can we do that? The reverse conversion of meter per second to knots. 35 knots divided by 1.5 knots is equals to 18.4 meter per second. So 18.4 meter per second, that is the value that we will use in the formula. Pressure equals 1016 minus quantity 18.4 minus 3.9 raised to the power of 2. Sorry, rather 1016 minus quantity 18.4 minus 3.9 all over 3.5 the quantity raised to the power of 2. Then the answer for that will be 998.836. Round off your answer to the nearest tens or one decimal point. You will have your final answer as 998.8 millibars. Now on board shift, we can use that as a 999 millibar only. But for the purpose of this exercise, we will use the 998.8 millibars. So that's it. that is your Panofsky and Breyer method.